This morning will outline its very first mission directly into the sun's atmosphere. The Solar Probe Plus is scheduled to launch in the summer of 2018. It will orbit within 4 million miles of the sun's surface. Now that's about seven times closer than the Helios spacecraft got in 1976. At its closest approach, the probe will hurtle around the sun at about 450,000 miles an hour. That speed is fast enough to travel from Philadelphia to D.C. in one second. CBS News Science and Futuristic contributor, that's Michio Kaku, is a physics professor at the City University of New York City and joins us at the table. Good to see you, Professor. Glad to be so, here. We're glad you're here. How big a deal is this and what is NASA hoping to learn? Well, first of all, this is embarrassing. We're 50 years into the space age. We visited the planets. We visited comets and asteroids, but we've never had a close encounter with the sun, Why? What which is the most important object in the solar system. Now, so we've been looking for life in Mars, and that's why we went to uh, the moons of Jupiter and Saturn looking for evidence of, of life and maybe oceans out there. So we neglected the sun, but the sun controls space weather, the solar wind which can damage our satellites, injure astronauts, even endanger a mission to Mars, uh, wipe out power plants on the planet Earth. That's why it's important that we understand the solar wind. But following up on Gail's question, why have we not done this? Well, first of all, it is difficult. Uh, we have to be in a very precise orbit, skimming, skimming the surface of the sun by 4 million miles. That means we're going to whip around Venus. We're going to rip around Venus several times to get right in position so that we can make a close encounter with the sun. And the heat shields have to, have to withstand temperatures of 2,500, 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get close to something that's very hot. That's what I was thinking. It's too hot to go up there. Yeah. So yeah. how are they going to do that? Yes. Well, they have carbon composites on a heat shield, very specially crafted so that it can withstand these incredible blisteringly hot temperatures because we're going to get right through the corona of the sun. Now, that's important because that's where the coronal mass ejections are born. These are gigantic solar flares that, like bullets, will one day perhaps hit the Earth. In 2012, we just missed one, and that big one could have wiped out communications on the planet Earth if it had hit in 2012. How long is all of this going to take, do you think? <laughs> the whole mission is six years. It's going to go around yeah. Venus several times and then whip around the sun several times. So the, the mission will last for about six years. Okay, boys and girls who are watching this, we'll have a test at the end of the program to <laughs> so be right. prepared. That's right. <laughs> That's exciting well, thank stuff. you very much. Thank you. Okay. Michio Kaku, always great to have you here. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.